Hi friends, welcome back to Yogi Berg. Today we're going to be doing a short yoga sequence to help you get more flexible, especially in your hips. We're gonna be working on getting those splits in this yoga sequence today. It is gonna be short and sweet, and it is gonna be something that you can come back to and continuously work on to help you get those splits down. I will have modifications and advanced versions throughout this yoga flow to help you as you're working towards getting your splits. So if you're ready, grab your water, grab your mat, and let's get going. Okay friends, let's begin today's practice seated at the back of the mat in an easy pose. Let's bring your hands over your knees with your palms facing up. Feel free to take any mudras here with your hands or just leave them completely up facing. I'm going to be taking my thumb to my pointer finger here. Feel free to join me if you'd like. Let's start today's practice by grounding ourselves and taking a few deep breaths. Set an intention for yourself today to just be, to allow your body to stretch and to warm up from the inside without any expectations for yourself. Close your eyes and go inwards as you set this intention for yourself. When you're ready, let's go ahead and come to our all fours in a tabletop position with our shoulders directly over our wrists. When you're ready, let's inhale and straighten out that left leg, pointing it straight back. Hold here for just a second and then raise as high as you can without letting your stomach drop. Try to keep your stomach straight and tight, bringing your belly button to your spine to help keep that tight and lifting your leg as high as you can. Now when you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and tuck our right toes under and push up off of our knee, hovering for just a moment before pushing slowly back into a three-legged dog. Let's bring that left knee to your chest. Hold for a breath before pushing back into your three-legged dog. Let's bend that left knee and stack our hips stretching out that left side body. On an inhale, let's bring the toes back up and through in between our hands. Let's go ahead and drop our right knee to the ground and bring our hands up to the sky. You can leave them up or you can bring them to your hips so you can feel that stretch as you push yourself forward through that back hip. Stay here for a few breaths before bringing your hands down to frame your foot and then pushing back, straightening that back leg and then straightening the front leg, bringing your chest up over your left leg. Take a few breaths here and allow yourself to sink into that hip. Coming deeper and deeper into this stretch with every exhale. Just allow yourself to let go by feeling that tension, finding that tension in your body. Breathing that positive air in and releasing all tension and negativity out. On an inhale, let's come back with our right knee on the ground and our hands up to the sky, pushing forward with that back hip. Embrace the stretch here. Before exhaling, 
framing your foot with those hands and pushing back, straightening both legs and coming down with your chest over top of your left leg. If you can, you can bring your ankle, excuse me, your heel all the way down to the ground with that back leg. If not, stay up on those toes. If you need to move that foot in closer, please feel free to do so. On an inhale, let's bend that front leg, keeping your right leg up and straight. And then inhale those arms up to the sky into your lunge. Hold here for just a moment, opening your chest up to the sky. And then exhale those hands down to frame that foot. Push that left leg back and take your flow here. Good. As we inhale, let's take that upward facing dog and exhale into that downward facing dog. Take a breath here before bringing that right leg up into your three-legged dog on the other side. Hold here for just a moment before bringing that right knee to chest. Holding for a breath and then pushing back into that three-legged dog. Let's stack our hips and bend that knee, giving a good stretch to that right side body. When you're ready and on an inhale, straighten out that leg. And on the exhale, come through, placing your foot in between your hands. Let's drop that back knee to the ground. Come up with our arms on an inhale and push forward through that back hip on an exhale. On an exhale, let's frame the foot with our hands, straightening out both legs and falling over top of that front leg with your chest. Breathing into any tense or tight places in your legs. And just allowing yourself to let go deeper and deeper into the stretch with every exhale. Let's come again with that left knee down to the ground, arms up to the sky, and on an exhale, push forward through that back hip. On an exhale, let's frame that foot, push back up, straight legs, and falling forward over that front leg with the chest. Bend that front knee, leaving that back leg straight and bring your arms up to the sky into our high or crescent lunge. We'll hold here for just a few breaths before we come down with our hands both into the left side of that right leg. So your hands are both on your left side with your right foot placed all the way towards the out. On an inhale, let's twist with this back leg so that your toes come out to face the opposite direction. Now here we're going to get a nice stretch for that hip. You can either leave your hands on the ground, come with your hands to your heart in a prayer position, or you can take a bind around that knee, looking up towards the sky. Whatever's comfortable here for you, breathing again into those tight spaces. We'll 
we'll take a few breaths here before unbinding and bring your hands back down to the ground and walking over to the other side. Bending now our left leg with our right leg straight out. Again, you can leave your hands on the ground here. You can bring them up into prayer position at your heart, or you can bring your arms around that leg and take a bind, opening those shoulders. Listen to your body here. Hold for a few breaths before releasing that bind and coming with your hands to the mat. We're going to walk back to the center, turn your toes in just a little, and then come straight down. Walking your hands as far back as you can go to get a good stretch here. You can leave your hands on the mat, or you can bring them out to your ankles. Hold here for a few breaths before bringing your hands back down to the center and pushing up through your arms. Take a few breaths here before releasing again into that fold, placing your hands wherever is most comfortable for you. On an inhale, let's come up slowly and turn our feet again towards the front of the mat. We're gonna come down slowly, just like a lunge, and bring that back knee back down to the ground. Let's push those hips forward. And then after a few breaths, let's release back, straightening your front leg and bending that back leg. We're gonna come almost as though we're gonna sit on our heel with our booties and bring our toe up, flexing and bending over with a straight back from our hips over top of that leg. A beautiful stretch for those hamstring and calves. Let's inhale our way back to a bent front leg and push through the back hip. If you'd like here, take a deeper stretch you can bring one hand down to the ground and the other one comes back so your, your left arm should be on the ground and your right arm should come back, grabbing that left leg and pulling it towards your booty. Take a few breaths here before releasing, bringing that arm back down to the ground and then pushing back again, flexing that front toe and falling forward. Now slowly we're going to start to heel toe our way out with that front leg. Come just a little ways out before again falling over top of that leg, bending that back knee, straightening the front leg and flexing the toes. Hold here for a few breaths before again, heel toning your way out or just sliding. And we're gonna slide all the way into our splits. That back leg should be as straight as can be, front leg as straight as can be with both of your hips facing forwards. If you're comfortable here, let's raise those arms up and fall forwards over that front leg. Hold whatever position is comfortable for you here. For many of you, those hips will be tight. Just remember to breathe into those spaces, allowing them to release that tension. When you're ready, let's come back up. And we're going to slowly bring that back leg forward, 
and then slide our front leg back again into that half split position. Let's come up again, bending that front knee and stretching out that back hip, pulling forward. Let's bring those hands down on an exhale, framing the foot, coming up into a low lunge and simply walking your arms around the left side until we're back in this nice position here, stretching out that head. On an exhale, let's walk those hands over to the other side. Just holding here for a moment, getting a deep stretch through those hips. Now we're gonna come up just a little as we bring our arms around and walk them around until we're framing now our left leg. We're gonna bring that knee down, that back knee down, bring those arms up and pull forward through that hip, getting a nice stretch that back hip. Let's go ahead and frame that front foot, push it back, straighten that front leg, bend that back knee as though we're going to sit our booties down onto our heel. And if you can sit that booty down, please feel free to do so. We're going to fall with our chest in a straight back over top of that front leg, flexing our foot up to the sky. Find those tight and tense places and breathe directly into them, allowing them to release. Let's go ahead and exhale and come forward again, bending that front knee. And if you'd like a deeper stretch here, let's take that right hand, leaving it on the ground, bringing that left arm up and over to meet your right toes, pulling that leg in towards your booty. Let's go ahead and release here, bring that arm back over, framing that foot and pushing back to a straight front leg, bending that back leg and flexing those front toes. Release your chest over top of the leg. And hold here. Slowly with control and when you're ready, let's come up and heel toe that front leg out just a ways before again pulling back into that half split position. When you're ready, heel toe or slide those legs straight back into your splits. Again, your legs should be straight and your hips should be facing forwards. If you're comfortable here, bring your arms straight up and fall over top of that front leg. Listen to your body here. If you need to stay in that half split for now, please feel free to do so and work your way towards a full split. When you're ready, let's come up and slowly bring those hips up, heel toeing your way back to that half split position bending that front leg and pushing through that back hip once more. Good work, let's bring those hands down to the ground. And let's push that front leg back until we're back into our all fours position. Let's do a few cat-cows here. 
Inhaling as we arch the back and look up towards the sky. Exhaling. As we come into a curved back. Inhale to arch. And exhale again. Hauling out that pin. Let's do one more of those here. Before we come and sit back onto our booties and slide those legs around whichever way is comfortable for you. Feel free to shake them out a bit before we inhale those arms up to the sky, flexing your toes, and exhale with a straight back coming up over the top of your legs as far as you can go. Allowing yourself to release with every exhale deeper and deeper into the stretch. Allowing those muscles to let go and breathing positive light, new energy into those tense and tight spaces. If you need in this position, bring your hands to your knees, bend forward as far as you can, bring your hands to those ankles, bring them up over the top of the toes, to the feet, or for a more advanced stretch, go ahead and bring those arms around, meeting the fingers and interlacing behind the feet, and then stretching down. And inhale, let's come up with those hands and that back, coming to a straight back, shaking out those legs if you need to, and bringing them to a crisscross or easy position. I'm going to do a few head rolls here if you'd like to join me before placing my hands palm up on my knees, going inward for just a moment. Thanking myself for being on this mat, for working towards that flexibility to get my splits. The splits are an advanced posture in your yoga practice, so please take your time. Be kind to yourself. Be loving. Be grateful as you bring your body here to this practice on this mat to work towards those splits. You are strong, you are brave, you are patient, you are powerful, and with practice, you will be able to get these splits. On an inhale, let's bring those arms up over our head, meeting our palms at the top, and bringing them down in a prayer to our hearts. Thank yourself for being here on your mat and for working for your flexibility. Thank you for being here with me today. Namaste.